For most people, being a bus driver is a job, a chore, a way to make a living. But not for one North Texas man. He's on a mission to inspire all of his young students. CBS's Steve Hartman shares his story. You can see why someone might hate being a school bus driver. The early hours, when the weather sours, the abundance of responsibility combined with the absence of eyes in the back of your head. Y'all have a good day! Nevertheless, Curtis Boy. Jenkins loves really? delivering these little ones really? to Lake Highlands Elementary in Dallas, Texas. Yes. Emily Grunninger is the principal. He goes way beyond the outline responsibilities and duties of a bus driver. I mean, that bus is like a family. These are my children. These are my community. I love them all. To establish community, what's your job, man? He starts by giving everyone responsibility. This is one of the police officers. It's an elaborate flowchart. She's the administrative assistant to she's the president. Administrative assistant to yeah, the president. She's, yeah. Everyone working together to build a yellow bus utopia. Yeah. And we're gonna care about each other and we're gonna love everybody, right? Yeah. I put time, effort, love, care, understanding, understanding each and every one of those kids. Omar. To show his love and understanding, hey, Chief. Curtis gives presents throughout the year. You say you like baseball. Each gift personally selected with that child in mind. Hey. He gave this girl a T-shirt. Her first book with a picture from a book she made. I'm hoping this T-shirt inspire her to keep on writing books. Over the years, he has bought these kids bikes, backpacks, handed out cards on birthdays, and even turkeys at Thanksgiving. He has spent thousands out of his own pocket, and yet. If you ask the kids what they like most about Curtis, the gifts don't even come up. He really cares about us, is really kind, and he helps anyone in need. Ethan Engel is a fifth grader. It means a lot to you. Yeah. He says the bus ride Hello. is often the best part of his day. My mom got divorced when I was only four. I see you tomorrow. He's the father that I always wanted. In some ways, I just, I wish my dad could have been like that. We make the mistake sometimes of thinking certain jobs are more important than others. I know. But Curtis Jenkins made his job important. Right, bye -bye. And in doing so, bye -bye. even created his own salary. Bye -bye. That's the paycheck right there. If I can get that, you can keep the money. <laughs> right. Steve Hartman, On the Road, in Dallas.